uh, let u be some scalar function of um, rn. Uh, so it's defined on rn, um, at least in some uh, subset of rn, which we call, as usual, omega. On the boundary of um, omega is, uh, as usually, denoted del omega. We recall that the gradient of the scalar function u is um, uh, a vector function which has the following components. In the first component we have the partial derivative of u with respect to the first variable x1. The second component is the partial derivative of u with respect to the second component and so on. Uh, the divergence is, is in some sense the opposite. Uh, it means that if we have some, instead of a, having a, a scalar function, we have a vector valued function uh, with components w1, w2 and so on, uh, then the divergence of this vector function is defined as uh, the scalar function which is the sum of all these items. The first term is the partial derivative of the first component of w with respect to the first variable. The second term is the partial derivative of the second uh, component of w with respect to the second variable and so on. Uh, we call this the classical uh, Poisson equation and it's uh, called a strong formulation of the Poisson equation in the case where f is some scalar function defined on this uh, sp the subset omega. Um, so this may be some heat conduction equation with some uh, source, internal source, heat source which is the uh, function f of x. The divergence of um, lambda x, where lambda x is called the thermal conductivity, uh, multiplied with the gradient of u equal to minus fx, is some more general version of this uh, Poisson equation. So this is called a strong formulation. Um, omega may be some square, generally some uh, smooth or um, uh, it does not need to be a smooth boundary. Uh, it is enough uh, for most purposes that uh, uh, this surface is Lipschitz continuous, as we have uh, been speaking about earlier. Uh, if we you know, just let us show that uh, this is some generalization of this um, uh, function, this um, equation, uh, because lambda gradient of u is just uh, gradient of u where we have multiplied uh, the conductivity in each of uh, this component and taking the divergence of this gives this uh, expression and if lambda now is a constant uh, then uh, we can take this constant um, in front here and then we just obtain uh, this uh, equation with some constant lambda outside and this constant we can uh, divide it on both sides this equation and then we get something which is very close to the, this Poisson equation. Note that um, the uh, normal derivative of u uh, we have just let us illustrate it uh, see the illustration of it. This is a normal vector, unit normal vector. It has length equal to 1 and it points um, uh, in the normal direction of the boundary at every point here. So um, uh, this is an uh, interesting and important quantity and it turns out to be equal to the gradient of u um, which is a uh, vector function multiplied with the normal vector. So in the case when this uh, normal derivative is known on the boundary we call the 
problem of the Poisson uh, problem for uh, a Neumann problem. Uh, it's called a Dirichlet problem if U is known on the boundary. This has been um, uh, discussed also in the first week. Let us just um, mention this formula, which is, we are go not going to prove it. It's possible to prove it by using um, uh, Gauss theorem, which is uh, uh, an important result in vector analysis. Um, it's, it takes the following form. If we have some, um, some function which we uh, call uh, phi, and we have a vector function uh, which we call w, and we take this, uh, by the way, this function phi is uh, defined to be, a, is uh, assumed to be a scalar function, then the integral of the product of this function with the divergence of w turns out to be equal to minus the gradient of theta uh, multiplied scalar, this is a scalar product with uh, W, this integral is taken over omega, plus this boundary integral, where we are integrating along the boundary of theta omega multiplied with n. ds, we, uh, we use the symbol ds in order to not confuse it with with um, this integration. So we are integrated along this boundary on this um, uh, this term. This term consists of the boundary integral. So um, if we now use, do the following, we take the Poisson equation or the generalized Poisson equation which is of, uh, of this form, we call it the star equation, um, and we on both sides multiplied with the function phi. Then we can, uh, we, we of course get uh, a new identity and integrate it on integrating the, this equation on both sides uh, over the space omega we obtain by using Green's formula the following. So we are first uh, multiplying with this function phi on both sides and integrating and using the Green's formula here. Uh, here we just recall. Instead of using W here in the Green's formula, we use now lambda grad U. So now we have replaced W by this in in all terms. So here we have uh, in replaced it and here we have replaced it. Then we obtain this. Uh, the, uh, this Green formula turns into this equation. 